All right, good morning. Today is day two of the 30 day workout challenge. Today will be shoulders, judging by I'm wearing a tank top. It's the only day you get to actually see your shoulders, so might as well make the most of it. Okay. Seated military press. <laughs> Honestly. I hate military press. Seated. I hate seated military press. Standing is superior, but I have seven foot ceilings in my basement. <laughs> so standing goes through the roof. Um, yeah. But uh, this is too light. This is too light. Let's try. We'll add a, some cuts in. So standing military press, I believe, is superior because when you're when you're pressing, you have to get um, stability in your core, and I feel just like you got to be more stable in your lats. I just feel like you're getting more of like a full upper body workout when you're doing that. But when you're in shoulder press, should just be isolating your shoulders. Again, it depends on your goals. You're going for overall strength, or are you going for a bodybuilder, row split, isolating for certain muscle groups? I would say I'm the latter, but it's always good to get extra strength, in my opinion. <sighs> Now that's a good set. Only issue is if I have to bail, you still on your lap. <laughs> I'm going to try to raise the supports. So personally, the way I like to train is my first movement is more of like my main focus, like my main movement. First, like yesterday, during back day, it was rows, you're doing your heavy compound lift. Same thing with shoulders, overhead press, heavy compound lift. Normally on bench day, chest day, I'll do bench, heavy compound movement. Squat or leg day, do squats. Always start off with a heavy compound movement first because you'll fatigue yourself otherwise. That's not what you want. You want to get the most out of that first set and then your next workouts, normally two, two or three. Um, and those, those are like your accessories. So you're working on same muscle group, but... You're either doing more reps or focusing on another portion of that muscle group. Like, for example, shoulders. Right now I'm doing um, seated overhead press. So that's going to be the middle of the, um, of the shoulder. And then you're going to be doing the side lat raises and then the rear lat raises. So 
you also get a lot of like front delt activation on um, overhead press. You can see it one, two. I can't see that one. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm gonna work on. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this is heavy. All right, I'm lowering the weight. So as I've said before, my goals aren't training for strength. I'm training for hypertrophy, muscular growth. So therefore I'm looking to stay around eight reps, a little bit higher. I did six on the last set. I'd rather be eight to 10. I wanna fatigue myself without risking dropping the weight. That's like the, I guess the, um, what do you call it? Like the, and I'm not cutting any of this out, by the way. Every time I fumble with the words, you're gonna have to deal with it. Just hit the 10 second forward button. But yeah, it's basically like, if you train for strength, you're going for five reps, three to five. You're training for hypertrophy, it's eight to 10. That's just the general, and endurance is like over 15. It's like the general, whatever you fucking call it, who cares? Consensus? General consensus? The general study? Oh, it's all bullshit anyways. As long as you lift weight, be a savage. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Ooh. 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 Thumbnail. Ooh. What's up with my rear deltoids? Oh, we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Shoulders have always been a weak point for me. I always had, just like most people I bet, I've always had injury in my left shoulder. It's always the shoulders, man. Bench press, ah. Going too heavy. That's how it always is. You always want to go heavy on bench. Everyone always wants to go heavy. No one wants to train the stabilizer muscles. Dog. Can you hear the dog in the microphone? Woof, woof. Last one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Heart rate's at a hundred. Damn, son. 
damn son, we're putting in work, boy. Also, this is a little dangerous. <laughs> but this is what happens when you work out at a home gym. You gotta make some compromises. <laughs> yeah, that's it for that. Another thing, this is a physio corner. <laughs> for shoulder pain, holding like a five pound plate. This is 10 pounds, by the way. But hold a five pound plate and open your shoulder up like this. Like something about the rotator cuff. Feels good. And your shoulder blade as well. It's just a little tidbit of information that may help you out in your future endeavors. Okay. Now we're going to do side lateral raises and I don't like to go heavy on these you see a lot of young sarma goblins at the gym who are like putting most weight ever you're not getting full range of motion I feel like that's a waste of time um like how much strength gains are you going to get in this small range of motion will that translate all the way will it translate to anything Will it give you more juicy shoulders? Judging from the people who do it, I would say no. So when I'm performing side laterals, I like to first, you could see me, oh, you could see me in the mirror and that should be fine. So I like to pull my shoulders back first, right? And then I like to have a slight bend in my elbows and then extend to the side and try to hold that for a second. <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> ah, shit. <clears throat> see if I could get a better angle here. Yeah, that angle was atrocious. This is not bad. Oh, yeah, baby. But yeah, same stuff. Probably going to do three of these, so two more. So remember, same thing. Shoulders back, always doing any shoulder or chest movement. You always want your shoulders back because everybody slouches, you know? So shoulders back to the side. Slight bend in your elbows. Push out. There you go. Hope my mic's working. Yeah, it is. It is. Sorry. Damn. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, man. Oh, everything's cracking. We're getting some shoulder veins all popping out. Again, this fucking angle, bro. <laughs> this was the angle we've all been waiting for. We've all been waiting for the straight shot. Don't worry, I have more stands, lights coming in. Oh, it's going to be a movie set in here. Okay, let's go. And who knows? Maybe we'll go to a real gym. Look at those front delts randomly popping out. You see that? Okay. Yes. Uh... 
Always cheat on the last few. <laughs> Always cheat. Always cheat on everything. I heard it here first. But yeah, dude, look at these. Oh my god. Look at those bulbous round balls. I'm very sore right now. In the shoulder area. How do you even flex your shoulders? I don't know. But time for rear delts. So I like to treat rear delts kind of like a back workout, whereas I'm lifting my elbows up when I'm doing the movement. So you have a slight hinge in your hips, arms down, roll the back in. Pull up at the elbows. Up at the elbows. You don't have to have your arms fully locked out like that straight. I like to have a little bend in my elbow, but lift it up. At the end of the day, your rear delts are basically a part of your back. Right? Like it's on the back. It's my argument. It's on the back. So they're kind of a part of the back. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I always try to go for more on these. You want to just fatigue these small muscles out. I felt that. I get a good pump on this. <laughs> you might not be able to tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, what else? I mean, I'm only using 15 pounds. I don't think you should go heavy. <sighs> so I don't like seeing people doing like I don't know, maybe, see, I can't even say they're built different because you can tell they're like 140 pounds and they're struggling with it. They're like, ah, oh. they can't lift the weight up, but they're using like 30 pound dumbbells. And I'm just like, sure, I can hack 30 pound dumbbells on the ladder raise too, but like it's way more effective to just do the full range of motion and then cheat at the end a little bit. Kind of feels like a Twitch stream. I feel like I should have like chat in the corner. After this, definitely going to get some triceps in. I feel like shoulders and triceps go hand in hand. Like they're not brothers exactly, but they're cousins. I'll give them cousin status. It's not like back and buys, bro. Back and buys go hand in hand. Hand in hand. Kind of crazy like just thinking about what i'm doing right now just lifting heavy objects 
and screaming into the void. <laughs> but that's life. Always flex too. Don't listen to people that tell you don't flex. Always flex in the mirror. Check out your muscles. What else do you do it for? You're not doing it for anyone other than yourself. So who cares what everyone else says? Or what anyone else says? See, there you can see. Look at that. I think this is the thumbnail, huh? Maybe. Chat. <laughs> oh, damn, son. No, this is the best angle. You can see those shoulders in. Last one. All right, so let's finish it off with some skull crushers. This is about like 70, 75 pounds, something like that. Normally at the gym, I do like 80 to 100, but with the plates, it just gets too big. So these are 35 pound plates. Like the 45 pound plates are too, too damn big. Where are these grips? I don't know if this is standard procedure, but I like to go extremely deep with my skull crushers. I just get like a freaking pump like you never experience like this. And you're just like locking those triceps in. Try this, trust me, if you've never done it like this before. Holy smokes, man. This is obviously good. There's a reason why it's the standard, but like, I don't know, I feel like this is a little bit brosexual, but I feel like I get um, much more of a stretch, like higher up on the head. Whereas when I'm doing regular skull crushers, I feel it like closer to my elbow. And I never get a stretch up here doing anything else. So maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But at the end of the day, if it works best for you, who gives a shit? You know? There's a camera. There, nice. This is a good angle. Getting better. One more juice left. I'm also, this is, it's 7.20 right now. I started training like 6.30 a.m. So, I mean, you saw with the shoulder press, strength was not there. I don't know if I'm just a wimp or if it's because it's in the morning, but it doesn't really matter to me. That's why I'm training at this time. But yeah, that also felt good doing the full range of motion and then transitioning to like standard range of motion. Perhaps I'll do that again. My triceps are feeling juicy already. I'm telling you though, man, it's like this, this insertion right here gets blown up whenever I do these full range of motion skull crushers. Hopefully I can find a, I don't know, Mike Menser video telling me why it's superior. <laughs> 
all these clips that you get on YouTube, huh? It's all old school bodybuilders for me. Probably for everyone else too. I don't know. They have the best tips. People want to listen to them. All right, let's go. Ooh, that's good. That is some good stuff you got going there. <sighs> Feeling juiced up. And I will for sure do a little pose at the end. Try to show off the shoulders. Try to show off the triceps. And maybe I'll like compile a picture of each day and then like put them side by side see if we could see a difference that'd be kind of cool also i have baseball tonight maybe i could get like a, a day 2.5 show some clips from baseball we'll see and also it's not baseball at all it's softball i got concussed playing softball co-ed Dude, it was a fucking woman who sat on my face. <sighs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> she didn't sat on, sit on my face. She fucking elbow dropped me. Or knee dropped me or some shit. It was not good. But my head is better. It's only like small red mark. Not even. My scabs were all peeling off yesterday. In the break room at work. <laughs> Looked like I have dandruff. Okay, last one. Mm. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh my god, that's heavy. Come on. Oh, yeah, I feel it. we did it once again this is what we've been waiting for this is what we came here for damn dude so what was I doing before kind of like that or something not like that, like that at all honestly who even knows how to pose? Just fucking flex. Double bicep, buddy. Ooh, damn. Muscular. Muscular. And then we got the tricep.
Damn. I'm going to have to review the VOD later. Clip that. Looks absolutely preposterous. I wonder. I don't know. Back shots. Back shots. Hit it from the back. See that later. Overall, feels pretty good. Doing a little traps would have been nice today, but gotta go to work. All right. Have a good day, everyone.